beautiful. Before World War II, a scraped knee could spiral into a funeral. Infection, silent, invisible, was the war's deadliest ally. Wounds weren't just painful, they were ticking clocks. Then came a quiet revolution in the form of mold. Penicillin had been discovered in 1928, but it wasn't until the global emergency of World War II that scientists finally figured out how to mass produce it. And where did they brew it? In converted beer fermentation vats. In 1944, the US government turned entire factories, especially in Brooklyn, into makeshift pharmaceutical plants. Yeast and hops were swapped out for Penicillium notatum, grown in massive tanks under military secrecy. By D-Day, over two million doses were ready to storm Normandy, not as weapons, but as a miracle cure. Penicillin slashed battlefield infection deaths by over 85%, changing the course of war and medicine forever. Dear mom, they're injecting us with beer mold. P.S. socks still needed. Today, antibiotics sit on every pharmacy shelf, often overlooked. But their origin? Planted in wartime desperation, cultivated in beer vats, and delivered by mold that saved more lives than any weapon ever built.